uh, represented by slow, graceful movements. Um, a lot of viewers may uh, think, and I used to think when I was a child, wow, this is really slow and boring. But however, now in wushu competition, Taiji is one of the most spectacular events uh, within the uh, competition. Um, the choreography, the gracefulness, and uh, accompanied by music in the uh, presentation, and really the balance and the strength that you require for this event is just phenomenal. Um, I can't explain it more. Uh, viewers have to watch and appreciate um, the uh, level of difficulty and the physical uh, requirements to perform uh, this type of uh, event. Yeah, Alan, the overall athleticism is significantly different than what we saw earlier in female Changchun. Uh, it's a lot more leg endurance, a lot of low stances and balances. The difficulty in executing movements, a lot of these movements are done from stationary pauses and then many times done onto single leg balances so the amount of leg strength that's required in this event is significant you can almost relate it to a uh, individual trying to roll a huge boulder up a <laughs> 45 degree incline hill that's a really good analogy <laughs> I, of course, myself never had the leg endurance to try Tai Chi, but... Very uh, difficult. Yeah. And here we go. First competitor, Lin Ying Ho from Singapore. One slight difference that you might hear from women's Tai Chi Jian is a lot of the internal events do have accompanying music. So take a look and watch the choreography and how that plays into how the music and the moves go together. There we see what we were uh, discussing. Uh, that jump front kick into a single leg balance. Stationary movement into right into a single leg balance. It's very difficult to execute. And here we see a typical balance that you'll see throughout Tai Chi Jian and in some of the Tai Chi events is that rear leg inserted from behind balance, also known in some circles as a dragon squat. Jump front kick into a jump outside kick into a dragon split. see a standing jump front kick with a 180 degree rotation into a single leg balance. to our bare hand events, Alan, the apparatus wielding or weapon events 
what you'll want to see in these events, particularly in Tai Chi Chien, is that sword has to be an extension of her arm, so all the movements need to flow together, there needs to be proper uh, usage of that weapon, so it's not just uh, an apparatus held in her arms, it has to actually be applied in the cuts and thrusts and parries that she does with that sword, need to emphasize the proper use of that weapon. Strong performance from our first competitor, Lin Ying Ho. Final score for Lin Ying Ho, 9.47. Very strong performance. Overall, 5.0 on her Group A score, 2.0 full points for her difficulty movements, B score of 2.47.